Five rules for effectively following up. Let's face it, our lives are hectic at the moment, so we'd be forgiven if something slips through the cracks. However, in business, you can't afford to let this happen. For your organization, the leads that you get are your bread and butter. If you let these slip through, you are effectively flushing money down the toilet. Unfortunately, some people who've expressed interest in getting into what you have to offer won't necessarily get back to you in as timely way as you'd like. Therefore, it's necessary to follow up with them in an email or via telephone. Just touch base with them to gently remind them about their interest in you. Here are some ideas about how you can effectively follow up with a prospect. Rule one, be overly polite and humble. That seems obvious enough, but a lot of people take it personally when they don't hear back from someone straight away. Resist the urge to get mad or upset or take your feelings out in an email saying something like, hey, you haven't responded yet, or you ignored my first email. Just maintain an extremely polite tone throughout the entire email thread, showing that you're friendly and how you understand how busy your contact is. It's a good way to keep him or her interested and not mad. Rule two, persistent doesn't mean every day. Sending a follow-up email every day doesn't show you have gumption or passion. It shows you don't respect the person's time. The general rule of thumb is to give at least a week before following up. Any sooner, and it may come off as pushy. Let too much time pass, and you run the risk of the person not having any clue who you are. Rule three, directly ask if you should stop reaching out. If you've followed up a few times and still haven't heard back, it's worth directly asking if you should stop following up. After all, you don't want to waste your time. Rule four, stand out in a good way. If done well, a little creativity in your follow-up can go a long way. Rule five, change it up. If you're not connecting with somebody, try changing it up. In other words, don't send the exact same email at the exact same time of day at the exact same day of the week. Getting people to respond can sometimes just come down to catching them at the right time. If you always follow up in the morning, maybe try later in the day.